Yo, call me a puddle the way I'm wet. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the game skins. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about, that's right, our next Sonic game, because these things keep coming for us, Sonic X Shadow Generations. Now, there's a lot of information that's come out, a lot to go over, so let's not fuck around, and let's just, you know, get right into it. So, yeah, we got to the state of play today uh, at PlayStation, and uh, obviously, you know, there were a lot of rumors leading up to this, and then we got the reveal right here of Sonic Generation. Now, it starts, you know, and you're just like, wow. This is pretty much Sonic Gens, and we'll get to the analysis of it after this. But yeah, you start off, you watching like, yep, this is uh, Sonic Generations. You know, bar for bar, word for word, no real difference. You just kind of think, okay, it's support. But man, imagine we didn't know about this a day before. And there he is, the boy Shadow, pulling up almost like a Smash reveal, by the way, right here, with just him coming to an old trailer. Love it, bro. And then right into it with the new content, pulling up on Final Rush with some nice cinematics of Black Duke. I, like, I cannot believe that this is where we're at with this series and how we're, we're pulling through with some of these remasters nowadays this is fucking awesome and i just i want to go frame by frame and dissect everything but like just looking at it, i'm like i can't believe this is happening there's like i did think that you got you got the bio lizard you got some shit chaos there's a lot of hype over here and initial joy just from this announcement and right away you can see we get the logo your sonic x shadow generations i love by the way that they use the shadow the hedgehog font from the original shadow the hedgehog game very nice detail coming on 2024 so i'm guessing probably around like what like october november time which is typically when they like to launch sonic games just for that holiday bump especially you know right before sonic movie 3 is about to come out we also have our platforms for the game playstation 5 playstation 4 x all the xboxes nintendo switch most notably and of course steam now before people freak out it does not look like the original sonic generations is being delisted as you can see they are two different SKUs on steam so if anyone is panicking over you know is the original gonna get delisted for now at at least it seems safe now let's get into analysis mode so when it comes to the original sonic generations part of the trailer uh the graphics and everything are pretty much one-to-one -one. i don't know if they're running on the havoc engine so it doesn't seem to me but it seems like maybe they got the rights to it or they rebuilt it i'm not really sure because if you look actually on the steam page of the game this is developed actually by sonic team so no one has to worry about blind squirrel working on this port or anything this is completely being worked in in-house at Sega. Even though Gaming Explained sucks and all that stuff, they did have this graphics comparison here, and honestly, it looks pretty one-to-one. -one. The lighting and, and stuff doesn't look too different. There's some screenshots of the game, too, that, you know, where you get a look at it. This is the most notable screenshot in here. Looks good. I mean, it, it looks like the way it does today on an Xbox running at 4K60 with an updated patch. Like, it looks really good. It's probably gonna, you know, run perfect 60 and all that stuff. It's like I said in my original uh, you know, thoughts about the game is that all they needed to really do is port this game to modern cons. I mean, there's a lot of people like us on PlayStation Switch have no access to this game. One of the best Sonic games out there, right? And one of the most beloved. Now, let's get into, obviously, analysis mode. So, right here, first of all, we gotta give a shout-out to Shadow showing up here in Classic Sonic down there looking hella confused. He's never met this guy in his life. He's like, what the fuck is going on here? And one of my favorite things I love about this trailer is right here, Shadow doing the original pose from the Raw Shadow the Hedgehog box art, you know, the original game. I love stuff like this. Our boy is never looked so good bro like he's he never looked so cool in such a long time just this shit makes me happy bro the nice eye zoom with the electricity right into final rush from of course the classic sonic generations right here dude seeing the arc in like this crazy 4k look is unbelievable and right here you can tell so a lot of people have already gone into analysis mode like what is this running on and this seems to be running on sonic frontiers gameplay so this seems to be running on hedgehog engine 2 uh people were able to point out that his actual jump looks straight out of the game now obviously it actually looks a little faster if you see like his little homing attack aka his cast control looks faster but even just like dude the way they nailed like the grind rails and everything like it just looks so fucking beautiful I, I cannot believe how good the level looks man also another detail right here is i love you have the gun boxes you know from the original game the level layout is definitely not generations design already just from like the way these platforms here are built it looks more like you're supposed to move around these areas a bit get some enemy hits into the level design and even actually if we go back here there's an alt path back there 
with some springs that you can go to. So maybe if you go over this or you went down another path, probably actually if you went under uh, the boxes down here, right? Like if we back up just a little bit, yeah, right there you can see you can go under these boxes into that spring. So already the multiple paths, I like to see that. And then right away we get into a cutscene here of just a nice close-up attack of Shadow, right? You're kicking, I guess, a giant fucking missile. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to go into Black Doom just yet, but we'll, we'll get to that. But yeah, this nice cinematic of Shadow kicking this missile. I don't know where this is. This looks again on the arc, but obviously we got to talk about this. So one of the most shocking components of this trailer is a uh, Black Doom spawning back here, which is one of the most fucking craziest things to bring back because you have no idea. Like Black Doom is something they never acknowledge, nor did I ever think was going to be brought back. In fact, Black Doom actually plays a massive part in this because if we go right to the Steam page, we can see right here, play as Shadow the Hedgehog in a brand new story campaign featuring never before seen powers and abilities. When Shadow's old nemesis, Black Doom, reemerges and threatens to take over the world, Shadow must journey into his own past, confront painful memories, face familiar foes, and unlock new powers to save the world and prove why he's known as the ultimate life form. So right away, we know that Black Doom here is not just a boss fight. He is going to be the center of the story. And guys, can we fucking talk about how sick this like Doctor Strange type environment is with all these repeating environments, the the st what, what is it called, stereoscope or kaleidoscope type environment here with Westopolis all upside down. Like this shit looks so high production. Just seeing Black Doom back is just an unbelievable feeling into what it what looks like, I guess maybe Radical Highway mixed with Westopolis. I'm seeing over here. Also, this is something really different that I don't think we ever see in Sonic games. Is like this curved boost pad that's going on here. A little bit linear. I know some people online were saying, like, they're a little bit worried about that, but listen, man, I think that pad just might be linear. We've seen from the first area I showed that, you know, that has some open combat in there. You're collecting some rings in here. Is there an, another alternate path up there? I'm trying to see something over here. Now, there isn't, there isn't an alt path up here, but you can also see Black Doom kind of flying around uh, the environment right there, so he's just gonna be something that's a constant. I hope he's talking through the stuff. And right away here, we can see where the Frontier's aspect is that I know this is me being a psychopath but right here his jump is the exact spin ball jump from Frontier so a lot of people are already talking about how it is taking Frontier's foundation which is good and applying it to Shadow and right here boom right the chaos control attacks here are fired obviously you can tell you're supposed to use them uh, to destroy that sphere you can see he's knocking the robots into them and by the way right away just seeing how much faster that attack is other than because Sonic had that annoying thing in Frontier's where he would uh, do a homing attack and it would lag here it seems way more faster which is good and then right into what is the fucking sick shot over here of shadow fighting the bio lizard obviously an iconic fight right here though here's the important thing right look at this look at this if we, if we frame by frame over you can see shadow using chaos spheres so we already know he has chaos control we know he can unlock chaos spear and we know from the steam description that there's going to be multiple attacks and abilities he learned so i think we're gonna have more than a few things you can even see like the little question mark thingy here maybe implying that you just unlock chaos sphere for this fight and you gotta hit him up this well but already just a way more involved version of the bio lizard fight he's on this wall looks like you're gonna hit him a bunch and looks like this fight is just raw as hell where you're just doing these multiple punches you can kind of tell they're continuing these sort of cinematic boss fights that have started uh between this and sonic frontiers right just going into these crazy attacks i just i love everything about this man i wish we had gotten a little more but hey we got a bit of a taste of the you know movement we got a bit of a taste of the environments looking a little more open in a sense like these feel like they play more like sonic adventure stages than they do generations levels because generations levels are much more linear right whereas like when we're seeing this right here by the way just i love how beautiful it looks just like this little open spot here alone is very different from whatever is in generations and by the way shout out to shadows like skating here he's going like full range with the swing i love it just animation wise it looks so good like this part alone just gives me so much hope and love for what's to come you know i feel like they're cooking so much and there's a lot you we, there's still a lot more to find out about the game and a lot more we still gotta talk about and actually if we go on the playstation blog there's a bit more information so we got sega pulling up here today we unveiled sonic x generations uh shadow the upcoming sonic the Hedgehog platformer is living bristling speed challenges with only sonic and shadow can deliver it's a greatest hits playlist of iconic 2d and 3d sonic levels from generations both 
remasters and expanded for PS5 and PS4. But that's not all. Sonic and Shadow Generations also introduces a new standalone campaign for Shadow the Hedgehog, making this the definitive blend of Sonic a Classic, Modern Sonic, and Shadow. Now, here's my question, right? It says that the game is a greatest hits of 2D and 3D Sonic levels, both remastered and expanded for PS5 and PS4. And then they proceed to talk about the Shadow expansion. So what is that supposed to mean? Like, are they actually going to include some new 3D and 2D levels for Sonic? Maybe a level from Frontiers, maybe a level from Lost World. I don't know. For now, it's looking a little one-to-one -one for me. Like, maybe this is just poor wording. Like, it just means there's going to be, like, that little casino DLC in there or something. But I don't know. I am maybe a little hopeful right now that the word remastered and expanded tells me maybe there's something. And I, I hope at the very least some quality of life changes. You know, some stuff like making the Time Eater boss a little more tolerable. Maybe adding some new mission missions in there. Maybe unlocking Shadow and some of the characters to play as in the base game. Some costumes. I feel like stuff like that could add a lot to the base game. Now, they go into this a little bit. On top of the remaster of the original Sonic Gens, fans will experience the new content play as Shadow the Hedgehog as he embarks on his own journey parallel to Sonic. Shadow was first introduced in 2001's platformer SA2 and has been seen in various incl in titles including Sonic Heroes, Sonic Battle, which is a nice acknowledgement, and his own spin-off title Shadow the Hedgehog. He was created to be the ultimate life form to incredible speed, ferocious strength, and a rare ability called Chaos Control. By harnessing the power of a Chaos Emerald, he can stop time and warp to new positions. He's always on the lookout for danger to the world uh, and protects Earth in honor of an old friend, which is very adorable. I love that. Players will dive into Shadow's dark past to understand his motivations and learn more about him as a character. So, we definitely know that this game is going to be a, a also a Shadow generation, in a sense, right? How long is it going to be and all that stuff? I don't know, right? Because we really only get a look at Westopolis, we get a look at Final R, we get a look at Bio Lizard, but how extensive is this going to go? Is this just going to be about Shadow's past? Because if it's about his past, then I don't see it going that extensive, right? If it's saying that play a Shadow in a brand new story featuring never before seen powers and abilities, that tells us we're going to have new moves, right? And then Black Doom is going to threaten to take over the world. He must journey through his own past, confront painful memories. Obviously, you know, he's going to see Maria probably die again. Face familiar foes and unlock new paths. Now, familiar foes, right? Obviously, what does that mean, right? We see the Bio Lizard fight, but what else is it? Is it going to be like the Mephilus, perhaps, story that's that's from 06? Like, I'm trying to think of other foes besides, like, ones from Black Doom. Maybe he's going to have an Eggman fight. That would make sense. A Super Shadow fight feels required right i feel like there's no way they don't end this with a raw super shadow fight in the style of a frontiers uh boss fight especially if they're having you know that engine run that that would be the fucking coolest thing and like i said again on the steam page this game features new remastered versions of iconic 2d and 3d stages with upgraded visuals and bonus content i want to know what the bonus content is so badly knowing them they're probably going to do some deluxe edition with some new shit in there but like i just i would love if there was at least one new level maybe and i, I feel I feel like something like Lost World makes the most sense, or even Forces. I mean, take take a level from Forces, expand on it, Generations of Fight. I feel like that'd be a good idea. Another piece of info we have is that Ian Flynn seems to be working on whatever this Shadow story is going to be, right? He does his knowing smile thing. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cross promotion, whether there's an animated short or a comic or whatever. I feel like obviously there's going to be a lot to this. They're gonna t they're gonna go crazy with this marketing. We do have the website too that doesn't really tell us much. I mean, it kind of just says the same thing as the others. We have some screens. I just I cannot... Seeing Black Doom here is kind of crazy. And also, here's another look at base game gens, which looks really good. And just, I'm I'm so excited, man. Also, random fun fact, Sonic Superstars will receive a DLC of an equitable shadow costume for Sonic in-game. So, that'll be cool. That'll launch on February 15th. But yeah, that's a lot about what we know of the game so far. Now, let me know, obviously, what you guys want to see the most in this, right? It looks like it's using systems from the tiers for the shadow stuff. It looks like it might be adding base content uh, to Sonic Generation. But I feel like they would have shown something new for base generations if they were going to do that. Maybe they're saving it. You know, it is coming out in the fall. So there's a lot of time to have new trailers. There's a lot of time to new stuff for the shadow. Show new stuff for the base game. I feel like there's, there's going to be a lot to this, especially if they're selling this full price as a separate SKU. I mean, I'm sure they're going to make it full price, $60. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, but they're going to have to do a bit more, I'm sure, to justify for people that might have the game on Steam or Xbox. And like, why would I pay full price for this besides shadow? And obviously, you know, for people 
people like me and a lot of you guys, it's going to be a no-brainer to get. But I'm very curious to see how expanded is this? How crazy the Shadows campaign go? Are we, are we going from beginning to end? Like, are we even going to see his forces levels redone in here? Are we going to see his stuff from 06? Are we going to see, like, the full Shadow story? Or is this really his past? Because if it says it's going to his past, to his present, then I could see him having multiple boss fights, maybe with Mephilus, maybe with Black Doom. Maybe with Eggman even. Maybe with Shadow. With Sonic. I would love... You know, in Generations, there's that fight where you do Sonic versus Shadow. I feel like they got to do the reverse. I feel like you have to have a Shadow versus Sonic fight in there. Like, I feel like that's a requirement. And end it off with a Super Shadow fight. I feel like it's a lock. Easy, like, on God. Along with potentially some new music, some new vocal tracks, some new levels. I don't know. This is shaping up to be a really sick idea. And I'm so excited to see more of it. Let me know what you guys want to see the most. Let me know what you're most excited about. Of course... I'll see you all next time. Peace out. I love you.